Welcome friends, I am Luxinda Mock, and what you just saw was what many pilots in Vendetta Online commonly call a chainsaw setup. And how it works is you just use a ship with three or four, sometimes two ports, but you generally want something with more ports, which is one of the rare times you'll ever find a use for a Hornet, personally. You'll go ahead and buy one of these, go over to small add-ons, and the weapon that makes it work is the charged cannon. Now, by normally, you, you see it does kind of low damage, up to 2,000 if you charge it. Um, and this takes over time. So what you do, maximum quantity, four, purchase selected. And then, uh, whatever power supply, uh, we'll use a fast charge here. Let's go ahead and just plot to an empty sector. And so normally, when you use a uh, charged cannon, what happens is you press and hold, your energy depletes pretty quickly because there are four, and then all of the weapons fire at once. However, if you just rapidly press it, it acts a lot more like one of your regular neutron cannons or ion cannons or whatever you want. They can fire extremely fast and so what you want to do open up your pda and go to your ship tab and what you generally want to do at least for the way i have it set up is make sure only one of these are actually on a trigger save group go to the next one remove anything that's there go back to the primary trigger set your next one Keep doing that so that everything has one trigger per group key. Now use the plugin or alias that you have set up for what is called chain firing. Um, and for me, I am using an alias given to me by Look No Hands. Um, I also there's also a plugin from Voper that I've linked below. It will behave differently than this, I believe. So uh, how you set it up might be different for you. Um, for look no hands, I'm using, oh, whoops. Back to four guns, neutrons, law neutrons. And then it fires all of them in a row with very little energy loss and each of these bolts does 400 damage, and there's so many of them that you can rack up a lot of damage on a target really quickly. There is... Charge cannons aren't the heaviest weapon, but you do generally have to put them on heavier ships, so don't be counting on using this in regular fighter matches. However, as you saw um, in the previous part, uh, I was able to take down a behemoth uh, fairly quickly, and for other larger, slower ships, it can actually shred through them, hence how it gets its name as a chainsaw setup. So how does chain firing work? Why is it so powerful? You'll notice that um, when you're being trained by pilots, that um, chain firing is something they'll bring up. Um, it's a pretty common occurrence, even without using the charged cannons. And so, for, by default, when you uh, use your weapons, you generally fire in volleys like this, right? Well, in regular PvP, pilots can sometimes weave in between your shots. And that's why chain firing is so powerful. You are closing the gap between every single shot. You might be doing less damage per shot because your shots aren't clustered together but are spread out, but because most of your shots will end up missing in PvP, unless you're going up against um, larger targets uh, that um, are unable to maneuver very well, you generally want to go with closing the distance between your shots instead of trying to get all of your shots all at once. 
And then, of course, there's always the charge cannons being able to unleash the shot damage all at once but you don't generally see charge cannons used like that very much because they don't have very much of an auto aim area and they're the damage output versus the time you have to hold down the weapon makes it kind of unwieldy and so that wraps it up for this uh, tutorial on how chain firing works and how to use a chainsaw setup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.